What was that? I don't even know how to start this. How do, how do I, should I start? Like, oh, the, today, this week was Burger Week in my city. Hello there. Uh, Burger Week. This is a Burger Week special. It's a Burger Week episode, Burger Week edition of whatever the hell this is I'm doing. I was only able to try Ray's Bistro, uh, Chibo's High Steakhouse, Taverns, Vicky's Diner, Canadian Brew House, Carnival, and Tipsy Cow's Burger. I don't even know what I had what day. Uh, this isn't a review, by the way, this is just my impression. Uh, and I guess if I was to like rate them or give them a score, it won't be an actual score, it'll be just whether or not it was a memorable flavor or not. Uh, Ray's Bistro, uh, what they have? They had, uh, it was roasted red pepper, caramelized onion, uh, Greek marinated grilled red onion, pure beef patty. This one was actually, actually pretty good. What I liked about Ray's Bistro was the, it had a biscuit bun. It was a biscuit bun, and I'm sure there was tons of butter on it, it was, it was really good. What's really weird here that I'm reading the uh, ingredients I use now, spicy pickled eggplant. I didn't taste that, but that sounds pretty gross. I don't like eggplant. Uh, was the flavor memorable? Yes. Ray's Bistro, their Medusa burger, had a memorable flavor. Uh, Chibos next. This is a $19. Chibos was a $19 burger. Half pound burger topped with a uh, beer cheese sauce, smack dab mustard, and house made slaw. Really good burger. Uh, this was Worth the $19. Memorable? Yes. Great burger. High Steakhouse Burger. This was pretty expensive too. It was an $18 burger. Uh, it was the High's Cheese Toast Burger. Now, High's is pretty much known for their uh, their steaks and their cheese toast. I guess say they decided to put the cheese toast in the burger. It was kind of like a Big Mac where the middle bun was the cheese toast. Anyway, that was great. Memorable? Not really. The burger actually tasted like a normal ass burger, like a normal burger, just with cheese toast in the middle. Which was great, still great, but nothing too fancy. And it was still, it's still 18 bucks. One thing that was weird too is that Heinz, you can't just walk in and buy a burger. Like you have to make reservations. So we made reservations to go try this burger. Uh, Tavern's Burger, I honestly don't even remember this burger other than the fact that Tavern's Burger had... Oh, hi, hi, why? In five seconds. You finished eating in five seconds? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how dogs eat. <laughs> nope, he needs he needs I don't know. Okay guys, let me finish my video. So Tavern's burger wasn't too memorable other than I really don't like the Mac macaroni and cheese they put in it. So it's called the Mac Attack Smash Burger. And this burger is just a really big burger. Lots of cheeses, second layer of okay, so two beef patties, jalapeno jack cheese, frank sriracha sauce, oh and uh, golden crisp mac and cheese bites. Leave the mac and cheese out, I don't, that's, for, that's not for me. Other, other people might like it, but it's not for me. Uh, Vicky's Diner, this one was really good. This one was actually only 12 bucks. And they put an onion ring in it, super simple to do, I know. But then they put their secret sauce, and the secret sauce was delicious. Top of melted cheddar cheese, crisp lettuce, juicy tomatoes, homemade secret sauce, two slices of bacon. The bacon with the secret sauce and the cheese, uh, and the onion ring really made that burger. That was, uh, that was a pretty awesome burger. Memorable? Yes. I will always remember that burger because the secret sauce is awesome. And I'm sure they put it in their other burgers too. I might even go there more frequently now to try out uh, their other burgers. Canadian Brew House, $19 burger. This was a forgettable burger. I don't... It was just a normal burger, Thousand Island dressing, it's, it's, like, it's like mac sauce, with bacon and onions, pickle, whatever, all the, all the normal toppings that go on a burger. It was... It was forgettable. It was still good. It was just a normal good burger that I that it, anyone could make. Carnival. This burger was a memorable burger, but I did not like it. Uh, what do they have? Uh, chorizo pork sausage. Kind of weird, but it it, it, had, it had a very distinct flavor. The weirdest part about it was that they had a slice of pineapple they put on it. And I don't like pineapples really on anything. Like I'll eat a pineapple by itself, but pineapple shouldn't be in my burger and it shouldn't be on my pizza. It's just how it is. And uh, lastly, we have the Tipsy Cow, $12 burger. Uh, it was really, really simple. Uh, it was just a normal burger with some purpley sauce on it. I don't really get what was what the purpley sauce was, but if I read this, maybe I'll maybe I'll find out. Oh, it was super dilly. So Vicky's, sorry, Tipsy Cow's burger was heavy on the dill. And if I read this description, maybe I'll figure out why. Anyways, the Tipsy Cow Burger, very memorable. Okay, well, that wraps up that wraps up the Burger Week stuff. I'm done with the Burger Week stuff. No more burgers. I'm done. Okay. All right. Okay.
What is that, Yuki? Oh shit! Hey, 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 hey! 